It happened again, what can I say? History is bound to repeat itself, right? I was just walking in a city the other day, walking in a normal city, having a great time. It was in the middle of the day, very crowded, very busy. Everyone was going around their business. And then I suddenly stopped and realized something was off. And I realized that I must be in a dream. And I suddenly became lucid. I'm in a lucid dream. I'm in my head. And I started walking around the city. I didn't really have any goals, any concrete plans in mind. But as I started walking, I realized the path was like, the slope was very upwards and it was extremely steep. And I was finding it very hard to walk. And as I kept walking, I soon came across a guy the same age as me. I don't remember his name, nor do I like remember his appearance that well. But I started talking to him and I was like, bro, you know, you're in my dream. You're in my head. And he started laughing. He didn't care as always. I asked him a question as well as we continued walking up this slope, but I don't remember what he said. It was something about how he was in my head and we started laughing about how I was going to wake up soon or some shit like that. But we soon came across a building and we entered and started walking down a hallway and then as as we were doing all this, we kept talking about how it was so hilarious. We were inside my mind and we came across an elevator. We got in, clicked some random shit. I knew I was in my head, but I once again still didn't have any plans. So I was just going along with the dream plot. And when the elevator opened and we went out, we suddenly found ourselves in the back rooms. You know, the back rooms that those weird like liminal places, um, those weird places that like keep repeating themselves and all that shit. I don't know the back rooms, you know, not, not the Playboy Cardi song, but um, we were walking through there and I was like, dude, this is fucking creepy. Like it was really scary. It just had this kind of haunted vibe to this place we were at and there was no one else. And it seemed the structure of the building kept repeating itself. And soon, soon me and this dude who I was kind of friendly with at this point, we turned a corner and came across some black demon. There was a giant demon. I don't know how to describe it. It was like a giant mass of fucking black and it was like killing someone or devouring a human and it sent chills down my spine yes i knew i was in a dream but this giant monster was actually fucking frightening and i saw it and the dude with me was scared as well and i was like bro i don't want to i don't want to deal with this this is scaring the shit out of me like i was really frightened so we kind of laid down on the floor and try and and try to act like we weren't there so I guess we were hoping the monster wouldn't notice us. And I actually started trying to wake up. I knew I was in a dream and I was so scared of this thing. I was like forcing myself to wake up. But then, but then I realized this is my dream. This is my head. You know where this is going. This is my, this is not my head. Why would I let this fucking ugly demon, this monster, why would I let them have any domination over my mind? It's all in my brain. So I stood up and I said, you know what, bro? I said to the guy, you know, I'm not fucking dealing with this. I mean, I am dealing with this, but I'm not letting this monster control me and put me in a state of fear. So I go up to the monster. I grab it from behind and start giving it the most violent fucking back shots that thing has ever experienced in its life, bro. I'm fucking the shit out of this monster because that's how I deal with nightmares, okay? I'm not gonna run from it. I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna force myself to wake up anymore. It's my brain. I'm going to assert dominance over these monsters. I don't give a fuck about it. So I start fucking the shit at this demon from behind. <laughs> and then as I'm doing this, I start laughing, which it's no longer a nightmare, right? It's no longer a nightmare because I asserted my dominance. But then I suddenly get kicked out of the dream, the lucid dream, and a screen appears over my vision saying I've like been kicked from the game lobby for like harassment or some shit, as if I've been kicked from a fucking Roblox game. And when this happened, I kind of suddenly lost awareness. I lost my lucidity and stopped realizing I was in a dream. But that shit literally kicked me from the lucid dream. And like, I would have woken up soon after. I got kicked from that fucking lucid dream lobby for fucking a demon, bro. But that's, 
that's just an important lesson you need to remember. If you're in a lucid dream or a nightmare, never let, never let your demons get control over you. Don't be fighting your demons, bro. Fighting your demons? Just start fucking them. Just start fucking the shit out of them. There's no way your brain's gonna be scared of them after that. Anyways, God, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I just had to tell you that I've gone through that same situation so many times with several other demons. I don't know why they haven't learned their lesson. Why do they keep showing up in my head? They know what's going to happen to them. Fucking hell. I'm like P. Diddy, but worse for the demons. <laughs> They're getting fucked, bro. They're probably, yeah, I don't even know. But in other news, in other news, I had another interesting lucid dream <laughs> that was kind of more tame this was maybe like a week or two ago and i was in my backyard when i suddenly realized i was dreaming and became lucid and there was actually a clone of myself sitting like in my backyard i didn't really think much of it at the time but the clone of me was just kind of chilling he was just laying back having a good time and he was like dude look i see someone in the distance i see a figure like in the sun towards where the sun is and i was like what i don't see anything but he kept insisting there was something up there so i jumped and i started flying and heading towards the sun to see what my clone was talking about and i soon came across a figure flying towards me and that figure that came towards me and we were now back in our backyard he turned out to be teddy you know teddy my dream character friend that i met in my fucking lucid dream since i was like 12 years old and i made a bunch of lucid dreaming videos about him right i met him and i don't remember exactly what we talked about but we went down and we started talking and i was like bro because i made a lot of youtube videos about him right i was like bro what do you think of my youtube this guy in my head Keep in mind, I knew I was in a dream. I knew this was all in my head. And Teddy said to me, he was like, bro, I love being, I love how you talk about me in your videos. He was like, I really like how you talk about me on YouTube. And he told me he liked the videos. So I thought that was funny as fuck. Keep in mind, yeah, you just got to keep in mind whenever you're doing something in real life, the, the people in your head, the people in your dreams, they're watching that shit, bro. <laughs> that sounds so schizo. That sounds schizo as fuck. But um, after that, he kind of went away. We had a nice conversation. And then I started spawning people that I wanted to meet in my lucid dreams. I don't remember specifically who I was trying to spawn. They weren't anyone important. But it was funny because there was another dream character standing next to me and my method of spawning or summoning people in a lucid dream is always talking as if i'm pretending they're already behind me so i'll be like yo what are you doing what's up bro or whatever i'll be trying to convince my brain they're already behind me by talking to them as if they already are and that makes them appear behind me but in this lucid dream it was interesting because there was another lucid dream there was another dream character standing next to me and every time i would start my spawning method of talking to them the dream character next to me would like pull out the person from behind me as if the person i was trying to summon was always there and then this other dream character would like pull them out like as if they were just waiting there for me i don't know that's never happened to me i thought that shit was fun i thought that shit was funny as always, and I needed to tell you about that demon story because I thought that shit was fucking hilarious, bro. Like, do not let your demons have power over you. Always assert dominance. You need to become the fucking danger. Become the danger. This is why I always see these comments... I think these comments are funny when I talk about sleep paralysis demons that I fucked and people be leaving comments like, it was an incubus, bro. That was a real demon. Oh my God. Like you were attacked by a real demon. I don't give a fuck. They're getting, <laughs> they're cooked, bro. If a real demon comes across me, they're fucked. Okay. Um, just like the video, leave me a mean comment. Don't join the discord. I love you. I love you. I love you. Farewell.